In this lecture, we're going to look at the different sketch blocks commands. We will draw similar sketches and convert them into blocks. And also, we will add some relations between them. Right click on the front plane, select sketch. Now, sketch a simple center point rectangle starting from the origin. If I click on the origin, the coin center relation will appear. The main difference between a sketch and a block is that the sketch consists of more than one entity and they are all treated separately. You can see that when I move this corner, all the sketch lines are moved so they can keep the different relations between them. And if I fully define this sketch, it will be no longer movable. I will now convert this sketch into a block. From the Blocks tab and go to Make Block. Select all the lines in the sketch the four solid lines, and also the two center lines. Right click to confirm. Now, when trying to move this rectangle, it moves as one unit, a block. I will leave this coin center relation so it can move freely in the 2D space. We can also convert different sketch entities into more than one block. For example, I will sketch two lines in a center point rectangle. I'm gonna start here and OK. Now I will go to Blocks tab, I will select Make Block, and I will select the first line, OK. I will do the same with the second line and OK. And finally the rectangle. Right click here, select Make Block. Now we have one sketch with three different blocks. What I prefer in sketch blocks is to create more than one sketch. Each sketch contains one block, like what I'm doing here. I am making the previous sketch, but this time in three separate sketches. And I will convert each one of them into a block. Now, edit each sketch and go to Blocks tab and select Save Sketch as Block. We can also insert different blocks inside a sketch. Make a new sketch, select Blocks tab, then Insert Block. Select the file location and Insert. We still can draw in this sketch, for example, this line as the ground. I need to fix it and I will add some relations. These two points are coincident. And also this link here. The rectangle block. No problem, I will drag it to the correct place. And finally, cooling your relation between these two lines. Now we have created a simple crank slider mechanism. This mechanism is very common, can be found in the internal combustion engines. And we have one sketch with three blocks and some relations between them. 